morning all of you in today's class we are going to discuss and the explanation of practice test on prepositional phrases in previous class i have explained the prepositional phrases kinds of prepositional phrases what are the functions of prepositional phrases i have clearly explained to you the students are suggested to watch the previous video which has been done on prepositional phrases then only you should understand this class my dear students and then here three exercises are there they have given the directions how to attempt the answers uh, based on the directions or instructions uh, first of all our request the students are requested to study uh, the instructions before going to attempt the questions to write the correct answers my dear students each and every student should follow the instructions the directions so how to attempt the questions the topic is prepositional phrases already i have explained you prepositional phrases a prepositional phrase that which functions a qualifies q u a l i f i e s qualifies when it qualifies a noun or a pronoun a pronoun it functioning as an adjective that that prepositional phrase remember that adjectives tell what kind what kind and how many how many and which one which one which one these are the questions we pose when the derived answers are called an adjective and uh, a prepositional phrase uh, that functions uh, modifies we are using it uh, this verb modifies modifies uh, the verb uh, adjective or another adverb it functions an adverb this is the duty of the an adverb on the time that prepositional phrase has been called has been functioned as an adverb my dear students and then remember that adverbs tell the answers we derived from how when where why how often and what kind these are the questions we pose and derived answers are called an adverbs my dear students here today's exercise a uh, today's exercise today's class the students should find out uh, find out the adjective phrase uh, in the first exercise underline the adjective phrase underline the adjective phrase right word uh, it modifies in which word uh, it modifies not modifies qualifies and tell something about uh, extra information what is the function of the adjective it gives more information about a, a noun or a pronoun noun or a pronoun that word is called an adjective please understand my dear students the first exercise the directions has given or instructions has given have given underline the adjective phrase in each sentence right that word modifies in each which word it has be it has been modified or qualified i tell something about that now they have given four examples the four examples we find out the adjective phrase first of all which is the adjective phrase first of all the students should identify or recognize or find out to which is the prepositional phrase in this given sentence the first one is uh, 
horse shoe crabs this is a one of the noun resemble resemble means look like hard hats hat with long tails with long tails with where is the preposition here horse tail uh, shoe horse crabs is a noun resemble is an adverb hard hat hard is an adjective hats hats as a noun with is a preposition long tail is a noun phrase with uh, there is only one preposition here with long tails this is the prepositional phrase my dear students this is the prepositional phrase here the in this sentence uh, i will explain in detail my dear students horse shoe horse shoe what is the meaning of the horse shoe? horse crab horse shoe crab horse shoe crab it's a type of sea creature creature c r e t u r it is a type of sea creature how is it we it has been shaped what kind of a sea creature it is a hard rounded it is a king crab king crab c r a b crab it is a sea creature it has a round hearted shell shaped like a horse shoe shell it has been shaped as a horse shoe horse shoe horse shoe you if you see the letter u this is the shape u shape it has six pairs of legs and a long pointed tail long pointed tail that sea creature that is the horse shoe crab that means the, uh, the the base of the horse foot uh, is shaped uh, as u it has been shaped uh, as u letter english letter u here horse shoe crabs resemble it is a uh, it is a main verb what is the meaning of resemble resemble means uh, have a similar appearance appearance a p p e a r i a n c a p similar appearance same appearance that means look like look like resemble means seem like for example your anger your you resemble your mother very closely you resemble i resemble my mother closely i resemble i look like my mother that is the meaning of the resemble here we are discussing horse shoe crab it is a, a sea creature it is living in the sea horse shoe crabs resemble hard hats with long tails it is the, the appearance of the horseshoe crab is uh, uh, hard hard hats hard hats uh, it uh, explain about the it tell something about the hard hats hard hats uh, is a noun form it is a noun form because uh, it describes uh, it tell something uh, about the noun it it tells something about the noun that's why it is called uh, it functions as you know adjective adjective this prepositional phrase uh, functions as an adjective which noun hard hats hard hats that means hard to crabs resemble hard hats with long tails that means here the which is the adjective phrase that is adjective it is not adjective phrase it is a prepositional phrase with long tails but it functions an adjective that is the explanation my dear students it functions an adjective ha horse shoe crabs resemble hard hats with long tails 
okay my dear students so this one is the prepositional phrase which functions so as an adjective it describes about the hard hats and then we go to the uh, next one what is the next one here second uh, example in exercise second one is uh, sorry the second one is uh, they are close uh, relatives of spiders relatives these horse shoe crabs uh, they are close relatives or uh, relatives of spiders of spiders so of is a preposition the object of the preposition is spiders so it is a plural noun they are close relatives of spiders relatives what is the meaning of relatives relatives is a plural noun close relatives relatives a member of our family what is the meaning of relatives members of our family relatives means that the person so who are connected with another or others by blood or marriage blood relation or marriage relation they are called relatives close relatives of spiders of spiders that means of spiders an adjective phrase which Uh, tell something about the describes about the close relatives that means the adjective gives answers the adjective gives answers which 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 type of answers what kind how many which one what kind of spiders which one close relatives which one of spiders of spiders that is you know that functions uh, acts uh, it has done a duty as a, an adjective it tells something uh, about the relatives uh, plural noun it is an adjective adjective phrase and then we go to the third one my dear students third one the mouth uh, of the horse of the horse this is the of the horse uh, shoe crab of the horse shoe crab he is well hidden hide hid hidden hidden means hidden means concealed what is the meaning of concealed c o n c e l e d concealed hidden means concealed concealed means not easy to find not easy Uh, to find that is the meaning of hidden not easy to find the concealed what are the concealed the mouth of the horse shoe crab it has not been seen by us it is concealed the mouth is a noun form the prepositional phrase is following the noun form this prepositional phrase explains or describes or tells something about the noun it is called it functions so a major role as an adjective of the horse shoe group crab here the horse shoe crab uh, prepositional phrase uh, acts as an adjective acts as an adjective that means uh, the entire phrase the mouth of the horse shoe crab is a entire phrase is a subject of the the sentence is is a verb well hidden hidden means concealed not easy to find out that is the meaning of that hidden the mouth of the horse shoe crab is well hidden not seen of the horse shoe crab is an adjective phrase which tell something about the the mouth the mouth is a noun form the word which tells about a noun or a pronoun the prepositional place qualifies a noun or a pronoun is functioning as an adjective adjective that is the explanation in third one and we go to the fourth one it is an opening underneath underneath an an preposition underneath the crab's body underneath it is an opening an opening is a noun form here not a you know, verb 
it is an own form it is an opening underneath the crab's body underneath the crab's body underneath means underneath is situated directly below b e l o w situated directly below something else underneath means it is a preposition in a lower position underneath means under or below under or below it is an opening underneath the crab's body this underneath the crab's body the entire phrase expresses about the opening it it has been treated it has functioning has been functioning as you know adjective phrase or adjective this proportional phrase and then we go to the next exercise my dear student the second exercise the directions has given what is the directions or instructions please understand underline the adverb phrase in each sentence adverb phrase that means prepositional phrase which functions in adverb write the words or modifiers which words they modify what is the function of the an adverb an adverb prepositional phrase that modifies it modifies a verb an adjective also and another adverb also that is the function of the an adverb remember that adverbs tell when where why how which these are the questions these are the questions we tell the answers are called an adverb here which words they qualify is either verb or adjective or an adverb another adverb we should find out and find out the adverb phrase which is the adverb phrase here adverb first of all we find out the prepositional phrase what are the prepositional phrases are here in this sentence what are the prepositional phrases are here the prepositional phrases are here first one is a direction say they have given on the earth whales are whales what, what is the meaning of the whale whales means a very large marine mammal marine marine means relate to the sea or sea, sea transport marine means marine whales means what are whales they are living in seas a very large very large marine mammal mammal m a m m l yeah, marine mammal mammal means what is the meaning of mammal what is the meaning of the mammal mammal they are giving milk they they gave birth for babies mammal marine mammals they are marine mammals marine related to the sea or sea transport a very large sea mammal that bears air through a hole at the top of its head that is the whale that is the whale the whales are the whales are the largest mammals the whales are the largest mammals and uh, that live on the earth uh, Uh, that is the water in the water that live in the water mammals whales okay my dear students here we find out uh, what are the largest uh, mammals that live whales are the largest mammal that live in the water not on the earth here uh, in the water where that is that that is the adverb phrase we have derived answer from the, where did they live in the water in the sea and then second we even go, we go to the second one whales behave how they they behave 
how did they behave behave in a verb main verb with great intelligence how did they behave with great intelligence with great intelligence means uh, what is the meaning of intelligence with great intelligence intelligence uh, knowledge intelligence means knowledge the whales behave with great they have great intelligence or talent higher level of abilities it is a mental quality it is a mental quality to learn something to learn from experience the abilities to learn from experience intelligence means brilliance p r i l l a n c e brilliance or understanding ability understanding ability intelligence means they behave like that these are whales or mammals animals which the, the female or males feeds the female animal feeds her young one milk her own body most of the mammals give birth to live young not eggs not eggs not eggs mammals are lays eggs they give birth to the babies what are the examples of mammals Why examples of mammals? We are the examples. Human beings are mammals. Dogs are mammals. Elephants are mammals. And dolphins also mammals. But uh, uh, birds, uh, fish, uh, uh, crocodiles, uh, they are not mammals. They lay eggs. These are give give by birth by babies, my dear students. These uh, whales uh, is be a big sea creatures. these whales behave with great intelligence with great how did they behave the answer is with great intelligence it is this prepositional phrase functions as an adverb in second example this is the sixth in this session and we go to the seventh one we find out the prepositional phrase a whale must breathe breathe is an adverb breathe 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 is a breathe is a, a verb main verb a whale must breathe air through its lungs through is a, a preposition here through its lungs that means uh, we pose the question how how did they breathe how are they breathing breath is entirely different breath breath b r e a t h breath is a noun form breath means what is the meaning of breath take air into the lungs and then expel it especially as a regular physiolo physiological process to the inhale and exhale breath is a noun form breath is a noun form breath is a verb form breath means the inhalation or exhalation of air from the lungs the air that goes into and out of our lungs that is the breath that is a noun form here the explanation is first of all we find out the prepositional phrase in the sentence through its lungs this is the prepositional phrase how did the whale breathe through its lungs it is an adverb it explains about the it uh, modifies the verb breathe b r e a t h breathe that's why it is functions as an adverb my dear and then we go to the next eighth one whales uh, can drive can drive can drive is a verb for a long for a, for a long periods for long periods for long periods that means for long periods uh, when where why how long how long 
for a long periods how long can dive dive how long can dive how did they dive here my dear students what is the meaning of dive for long period they whales can dive 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 not to drive dive 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 for dive whales can dive for long periods dive mean jump into the water whales can dive for long periods if for long periods uh, is a prepositional phrase uh, functions as an adverb it describes it modifies the verb uh, dive d i v e dive modifies the verb dive they modifies the verb uh, dive that is the um, this prepositional phrase functions as an adverb that is the explanation of my dear student.